Hi YouTube friends, it's Tom here. Welcome. Join me because today we're making this mandala knot paracord bracelet and this one's quite a simple design with a loop and knot closure. We're making this with two colours that have been fused together here and we're going to start this one off with a double connection knot. So I like to tie these horizontally and I'm just going to move that fuse section down a little bit so we can cover it up in the knot. I'm going to take the bottom strand over the top one, pretty much over that fused section, just forming a loop. And then I'm going to take my working end through that loop and then pull that loop closed and I want to pull it closed around the join and leave this little loop down the bottom here too. Next I'm going to take my other colour around the back and I'm going to take this one through both loops. Then I'm going to close the first knot down, switch strands and then also close the second. And then maneuver this knot so it hides that fused section and we get a loop here that is around about one centimeter or half an inch and then tighten this one up make sure we get an X on one side and also an X on the other side and then we are going to move down about six centimeters two and a half inches and we're going to tie another double connection knot so form a loop by coming in over the top strand take the working end through that loop close that first loop down also leave another little loop down here at the bottom take the second strand over the top and around the back and then take this working end through both loops close the first knot down switch strands and then close the second knot so that it forms an X shape and check the other side so that it also has an X shape and tighten the knot and also make sure that these two leg lengths here are equal so if you have to loosen it up and adjust it adjust it and then tighten the knot so next we're going to tie a mandala knot here and the way we do that is just take the top strand form an overhand loop just get the bottom one out of the way tuck the working end through that loop bring the working end around and then up through both those loops then we're going to flip this around so that this is on the bottom and we're going to tie the same knot with our other strand but run it through this knot as well so come up through our first knot and form an overhand loop then 
then we want to come up through that overhand loop and also through our first knot. Then we want to come around and then I like to pull these two loops up and then we want to take our working end just through those two loops. And now we can draw this knot together and we're also going to move this knot close to our double connection knot here. So we're going to have to draw slack through the knot. So just adjust this knot till it's nice and close and tighten it up. Once you get your mandala knot nice and tight, we're going to tie another double connection knot. So again, start with the bottom strand, form a loop, and then tuck the working end through that loop and draw that top loop closed. Take the other strand around the back and then through both of those loops. Tighten the first strand and then the second. And then tighten the knot and we want these two knots to be around about equidistant from our center. So once that's nice and tight, again we're going to move over about six centimeters or two and a half inches and tie one more double connection knot. So take that strand over and form a loop, tuck the end through the loop and draw it closed. Take our second strand over and around and then through both loops and tighten this one down. And then we just want to make sure that this distance here is around about the same as this one. So you can measure that with a ruler if you want. I'm just going to eyeball it. And then tighten that knot up. And lastly, we can tie a button. So to tie this button, take your right strand underneath and the left strand, form a loop coming in over the top, and then take right strand up through the right loop and the left strand down through the left loop and tighten up by pulling outwards and just adjust the button and lastly we just need to cut and singe these excess pieces. So I've cleaned up the button now and here is your finished piece. If you like this kind of thing, go ahead and hit the subscribe button because here we talk about all kinds of different knots. Thanks for watching, I like you all and I will see you on the next video.